Okay, hello Gemini. I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights, your favorite tarot reader. Thank you for tuning in. I am doing your life and love energy for the month of July 2019. I really, really hope that you guys gain some type of clarity out of this. Keep in mind though, this is a general reading, so it may and it may not apply to you. So check your moon, your rising, your Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, and all that beautiful stuff. Okay. So, Gemini, let's get started with all of this beautiful energy that we have here, okay? So, for starters, I love the fact that you're going to be tapping into your resources this season. Because just like most of us, you know, and some of us are going to take advantage of it, and some of us probably won't. We'll probably let this moment slip by, okay? But this is a perfect season to really take action. And not just to take action, but to take action in a sense where you're finally going after what you want. Like, you're no longer afraid to do it. Like, um, it's like kind of like you're breaking out of your shell, kind of, you know? So this is really, really amazing. Also, if there's any type of help that you need with something, Gemini, I strongly advise you to kind of... I strongly advise you to kind of speak up and really speak on how you feel and what you really desire because I feel like there's going to be some people that's trying to take advantage of you just because they know that you're the nice one, um, you're the playful one, you're the one that loves to talk in the office while everybody is working. Like you love to just brighten up the room with your beautiful sense of a conversation. Like you just love to bring intellect to any environment where you go. And so, because of that, there's going to be some people that try to take advantage of that um, and take advantage of you, perhaps, okay? Um, so, I do feel like a need to start delegating, to start asking for help if you need help. Um, also, setting some boundaries, you know, like, listen, I'm only one person. There's only so much that I can do. You know, like, I don't mind doing it. I don't mind helping. Like, my work ethic is bananas. Are you crazy? right but i still need help like i need a, a an assistant i need someone to come with me i need someone to help lift these boxes because they are way too heavy like so don't uh, basically don't allow yourself to be a pushover this season and not because you are but because apparently these people think that you are and so again i feel very strongly that you're going to be setting some boundaries this season okay your ruling planet is going to go mercury i'm going to go <laughs> retrograde which is Mercury, going to go retrograde um, July 7th or 8th, give or take a day, up until July 31st. However, just for extra clarity and just to kind of help us open up our mind a bit more, I would say if there's anything important that you want to do or anything, if there's anything that you would like to commit to, wait until about August, between August 10th and August 15th, okay? By then, and I know that for a lot of you, that you're like, damn, that's a long stretch, right? But I promise you, clarity will be a lot better. Communication will be a lot better. So, for instance, you may um, ask for the day off at work, right? And for some reason, they may act like they never got your email or they never got your phone call. So just as a heads up for those of you who don't know, Mercury retrograde is or Mercury is the planet that normally represents like our communication, but it also has aspects when it comes to our wealth and how we value our wealth and how we value our money and how we value our conversations and communications with others. How do we approach our with um circumstances with other people? So you know, it, this is probably one of them seasons where you want to know what planet or what zodiac sign your Mercury is in. Because, like, for instance, I'm a Capricorn, right? I'm a Capricorn sun. But my Mercury, in my birth chart, my Mercury is also in Capricorn. So I know that my mind and my heart is in alignment. Like, when I make a decision about something, it is what it is. Like, there's no indecisiveness. There's no, you know... I don't have to deal with that. Like, when I make up my mind on something, it is what it is. So, you, beautiful Geminis, you have to find out what is it that is, like, your Mercury sign. Like, you have to find out where your Mercury is in your birth chart. And I will be more than happy to help you guys with that. I am having um, 
tarot readings for just $10 up until July 12th. So if you feel compelled to be like, you know what, I really could use a tarot reading right now, or I really would like a birth chart reading or something like that, then definitely um, email me or go to my website. I'll post my website link below so you guys can kind of share your contact information and we can take it from there, okay? But long story short, there's also a woman, um, maybe with like brown or like a light hair color, like a blonde or like a brownish hair color. Um, if this is not you, then it's definitely um, someone you know, or this could be someone... Sorry, guys. So, if this is not you, then it could be definitely someone you know. Um, probably someone you work with or someone that you probably don't even know this person. But I feel like this is a woman who has, like, brownish or, like, a light brown hair color. Um, they're very smart when it comes to their finances, okay? And this could be, I feel like it's an earth sign. Um, this could be a Taurus this can be a Capricorn, or this can be a Virgo, okay? For a lot of you, I feel strongly that it will be a Virgo. Um, and for some of you, it might be a Capricorn. For some of you, you 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 love Capricorn. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a Capricorn person that you are talking to, um, not in a way of love, but in a way to kind of help you build your finances. Um, this woman is very, very intelligent, very resourceful. they kind of been there, done that type of mentality. Like they pretty much know what to do when it comes to dealing with their finances or when it comes to investments of some sort. So, um, I feel like if you feel like at some point in your life where, look, I really do need help this season, like if the month of July is becoming like really chaotic or confused for you, or if you feel like there's a lot of delays or unnecessary, uh, headaches, don't be afraid to ask for help because I feel like whoever this woman is, if this is not a woman, um, then this is definitely um, a man with these type of qualities, like these these feminine qualities, like this woman, she she nurtures her money, her finances. She nurtures her stability in her home environment. So, um, this could even be someone. Um, this could be someone at your bank, maybe a bank teller. This can be an investor. Okay, so for each and every one of you, this energy is going to play out differently. But I will say, this is definitely the most potent time <laughs> for you guys to, if you haven't done so in a while, this is probably the most potent time to rely on your gut, to rely on your intuition, okay? If, again, if you feel that sense of, I need help, I want to take action, but I just don't know how, I don't know where to go, I don't know who to talk to, I need resources, I'm, I've been reaching out, I haven't been getting any help, you know, and during Mercury Retrograde, it can cause a lot of delays. It can cause a lot of miscommunication. Old things might come up to the surface. Ex-girlfriends or boyfriends may be trying to work their way back into your life. Like, Mercury Retrograde has a way of kind of slowing things down or bringing things back up to the surface. And because Mercury is going retrograde in a sensitive sign like Cancer... And you are an air sign, so your emotions is going to be, like, all through the roof. Like, communication, you maybe, a lot of you are going to be feeling like you're not being heard. Like, someone is not really totally hearing you out. And so, that is probably why the energy is here about boundaries, because I feel like you're like, no, I'm tired of telling you, you need to stop doing this. Or, if you do this again, I'm done with you. Like, I just feel like you guys are, like... Um, putting someone in their place because they just continuously um, like to try to cross boundaries with you. And enough of that. Like, I just feel like enough is enough. Like, that is what I'm hearing from you. Either way, okay, this is definitely a beautiful time to kind of clear your mind, to detox, to probably drink lots of more water, um, to try to exercise a bit more. I mean, the season is beautiful here in the States, so why not take advantage of it, right? Like, go swimming, go to the beach just for no reason at all. You don't have to have a lot of money to go enjoy a nice walk in the park or, you know, go for a bike ride. Just anything, just to kind of help.
help, you know, stimulate your mind. You know, try to team up with a whole new group of people that you never even met before. You'll be surprised by who you might meet. And it could very well be that particular woman who's very resourceful. So definitely, you know, and with um, June 3rd, I mean, June 2nd, we had the new moon solar eclipse in Cancer as well, right? The new moon. And then on the 3rd, we Venus is also going to go into Cancer. Um, and then Mercury is going to go retrograde in Cancer. So this is going to be one season where it can be either explosive, like in a beautiful way, or it can be explosive and the, your life just fall apart if you let it. You get what I'm saying? But if you play your cards right, your life will not fall apart. You will be okay. But I have told a lot of fire signs and air signs that this is probably going to be a challenging season for all of you guys. Just because you um, and fire signs, you guys can be more um, impulsive and emotional than water signs or um, and earth signs. Okay, So when it comes to stability and keeping family intact and keeping things on a roll like water signs and earth signs, you simply know how to do that. So again, that's why I feel strongly like whoever this woman is, is definitely either a water sign or an earth sign. But for a lot of you, I feel very strongly that it's either a Virgo or a Capricorn, okay? Um, either way, these people are coming in to help you reorganize your life or your lifestyle, maybe to help you reorganize your closet, maybe to help you clean up your home or to clean out your office, maybe you're retiring, maybe you're looking to move your office up, you know, uphill or whatever, like to a whole new town and maybe you just need a little extra help. Either way, this is, a, again, guys, this is the perfect season for you to kind of, you know, woo side, <laughs> clean your mind, clear your energy. If you feel like someone is being very rude to you, again, set those boundaries. Don't be afraid to let somebody know how you feel. But like I told Sagittarius, and as I told Aries and Leo as well, okay, in Aquarius, like, if you're going to express how you feel, do it out of love. You know, don't do it in a way to, like, hurt someone's feelings. Like, do it out of love, but set boundaries because I feel like you guys have had enough. And I feel like you've been there and done that. And the last thing you need is one more negative person in your world. So I love you, Gemini. I hope that that was very clear for you. If not, please message me if you would like something more personally just for you. Again, this is a general reading. So check your birth chart for your moon, rising, Jupiter, Mars, or Mercury, or Venus in your birth chart. Okay, please share this message around the world because everyone deserves to hear this message. Okay, I love you and I will see you soon. Have a beautiful week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Bye.